Hey guys, welcome back to Alive Tonight. Thank you for being with us. Hope you've been enjoying the videos and music and obviously yeah. talking about uh, new projects and things mm -hmm. we've been working on. Uh, we have been asking people to ask questions via Twitter. So if you're on Twitter, you can go and hashtag Ask Hansen and send mm -hmm. us a question. And in just a second, we're going to answer, hopefully, all of your questions. deepest, darkest, lightest, questions. smartest. I'm trying to <laughs> add some other like <laughs> variables here. <laughs> questions. You really start. <laughs> no. Probably. Deepest, darkest. Yeah. No, we're not going to ask. No, please don't ask us any of those questions. We're excited that um, we had tons of good questions about the tour, and of course, mm -hmm. um, with a relatively quiet year on you know touring and stuff, we're we're really excited about it, um, visiting yeah. a lot of our favorite cities in the U.S. and excited about hearing hearing about all the different uh, fans that are coming from all over. Um, not hearing me talk um, <laughs> because my mic's off. <laughs> oh, Taylor's mic has been off. Now, anyway. let's reenact that. Now it's backwards. Um, <laughs> we've gotten a lot of good questions about the tour, and um, we are all really excited about it because um, we have been doing different things, not on the road, and we've heard about fans that are traveling to see um, multiple shows. Um, we've uh, heard people planning to get together in special cities, and just yeah. like you guys, we're looking forward to that. So we're excited to get your questions. Like Zach said, you can submit them. Um, through Twitter, and then of course, don't forget to stick around for the nightcap afterwards for all you fan club members. Yeah. And also, there are quite a few of these of these shows that are starting to get very close to sold out as well. So if you're kind of pondering right now, should I go to stop one? Stop pondering. Stop pondering. Yes. Pick. Does pondering have anything to do with ponds? Is that about a body of water <laughs> you thing? A pond? Or pond? Yeah. Pondering? Or I thought you were saying Ponding. pond, like a, I'm a pond. Oh, pondering. Uh, pondering. I'm just going to tell you because your in ear monitor seems to be sitting oh, on your microphone. Yeah, that's uh, I don't know. I don't know. It might. Actually actually make your voice sound waxy and deep see how we i like did that wax here yeah. waxy okay so yes. we've been we've been getting questions <laughs> we've been getting questions on twitter and so i think we should jump to answering some questions yes what do you think yes okay. um i, I well it's a we crazy that, concept. i feel like we should talk should we talk about the vine thing yeah go for it yeah. you you do it i'm gonna okay. read questions okay. while awesome. you, you talk about vine one of the things we're really excited about doing uh and we've and we've done this a couple times uh when we've done a Live Tonight uh, events, uh, streaming. But w one of the things we're excited about tonight is we are giving the fan club members, all of you Hanson.net community members, the opportunity to decide what Vine we do uh, uh, after the stream, during the stream. I'm not sure if we decided. I think it'd probably be after the stream. After the stream? Was, yeah. I've been pining for during the stream, but yes, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get to vote. We're going to do, in honor of Michael Jackson's birthday yeah. and in honor of the song that um, Remember the Time, which has made it onto the EP, yeah. uh, we picked three famous, iconic Michael Jackson uh, choruses, and you guys get to pick which one we're going to put out on Vine. Yeah. Um, so you can vote. If you're a fan club member, go to the Ask Hansen section yep. of Hansen.net, and you'll see there's a post with a poll inside. Um, Vote. Yeah. These, these are the important things you get as a fan club member. Exactly. <laughs> you get to control the outcome. Yes, you, get, you to, get to tell us what to you do. You get to control Hanson. Tell us what to do. And I think, if I remember correctly, it's Thriller? No. Uh, thriller, Remember the Time, time and, and Dangerous, Dangerous were the three exactly. we picked. Uh, yeah. Which I would most like to do dangerous, I think. Uh, yeah. It's because it's the easiest. Dangerous! It's also dangerous. Don't get it so dangerous! Wait, we can't do it yet? Okay. Um, <laughs> let's get some questions. So, um, the first question is from... Sometimes people's Twitter handles, I just... So I look just at crush it someone's and world. I feel it's... Which one is it? <laughs> it's... So <laughs> Miss Cross and it just it's not even worth. Okay. Is there a cover song that you find challenging to perform? Is the question. Well, so I think obviously every cover inspired song, by this EP yeah. and the cover oh, there's songs that you wouldn't think like um, for some reason we we get even when we were doing Want You to Want Me, Want You to Want Me was one of those songs that so it's confusing, we, kind of. Well, we would do it and then we would always find ourselves there would be one or two moments it's particularly the fact that there was it's the layers of the guitar part. The way that the way that Rick Nielsen plays is just very well. It's, he's awesome. Oh, we were but laughing you wouldn't think about it. it. You wouldn't think of it, but it, they always found ourselves going, "Ah, well, we're not going to do that one tonight." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we were laughing about it because we're like, "Man, 
what was the probably the best performance? What was the best that performance of Ron Yunamami? Oh, Holy probably when Rick Nielsen Chicago. and Bunny Carlos came and sat in with us. Right, in yeah. Chicago. Played it. For, for some reason, that the guitar awesome part sounded version. right and the drum part sounded right. Okay. <laughs> Which is basically the song. Uh, yes. Is the guitar and the drum part. I, uh, I would actually say what songs are hardest to do you find it most challenging to perform the ones we songs. don't choose to do the ones we don't choose to do would be one anything by Billy Joel exactly I would also say that I, th I think every song to some degree no matter what when you're first learning it is challenging so yeah, well, that's that, maybe a cop out. That's, that's a, a little bit of cop out. <laughs> Every song is hard when you don't know how What's it goes. What's your favorite food? Well, all of them. <laughs> yes. What kind of music do you listen to? All genres. I don't discriminate. I'm a fan of all genres, except for you know. <laughs> for okay. What I listen so to. Uh, here's another question. At the Music Freak eighty seven said, uh, "What is your favorite cover song you guys have done?" So it's another song favorite about cover. cover song. Uh, yeah. Truth be told, right now I'm I'm pretty excited about doing the Michael Jackson song. Mm -hmm. we, did, yeah. we did remember the time on this new EP. We yeah. we're still finishing mixing and mastering um, right now, listening to the mixes. Yeah. But I mean, it was just it was. I think part really of it fun. for me was kind of decoding that song a little bit, yeah. and and like spending the time to really try and understand what mm -hmm. he did to. As as you try and replicate it, you know, you're going. Like, a lot of what is that? The, what, like rhythmic what, stuff. How does the rhythm go? And what is, you know, and and um, if you go layers of rhythm. If you go listen to Remember the Time, so Remember the Time's off the Dangerous record, but for the single version when he did the music video, they did an additional breakdown, mm -hmm. and it was actually we came across that started listening to that. We're like, okay, here we can actually hear. The drum Some beat rhythm. by itself. Yeah, exactly. You know, and go like, Some oh, that's pieces. what it is, because this isn't. It isn't this exact way on the on the record version, but you get to hear it well, in a different way for I, that remake. I think too that um, the way he sings and and the way those records are made. I mean, our we often talk more about the old, or, you know, original rock and roll and, and R and B stuff, but his rhythmic tendencies and just sort of the importance of pocket mm -hmm. is very much in the DNA of our songwriting and what we grew up hearing. I mean, those were this that record came out when we were kids, and um, so. A lot of times, and when we're when we're thinking about grooves and pocket, and you know, sort of judging our own songs, even though you rarely get you get there, those are the things that are in our playing in our head are the records where mm -hmm. those MJ records where you you go. There's nothing. The, everything about this is pocketed. Everything about this. There's nothing. There's nothing extra in the way. And and so I, it was just fun to. to well, play. and I actually feel like in a lot of ways that that record was kind of the Michael Jackson record for us initially because well, it, it was sort the right of like time. Aerosmith get a grip. It just it was happening know, at that, that time because you were that was the first record you really knew of him yeah. in that way. I think yeah. that record was such a big record when we were young. Yeah. in the early early nineties. Yeah. right. What was that? It's like ninety four. Four? Yeah, somewhere. I feel like it was ninety four. No, ninety two. Ninety two. Yeah, I'm gonna call it ninety four. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. uh, other other favorite song would be the uh, song in a little while by U two as far as cover songs we've done mm -hmm. over the years, but I, so I, many I, songs. Higher is actually one of my favorites now, yeah. Especially after recording it, um, I so thought about it for the last two seconds. <laughs> no, no, I mean it is. It's it's really high on the list. I'm not sure I would necessarily <laughs> say it's an is it higher than another song maybe. <laughs> So I always say I always say higher. It's actually I want to take you higher. Yes, he only likes that song because of the boom laka 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 boom laka 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 no, part. That's, not why that's his favorite part of that song. Okay, <laughs> uh, at Kel Dash K uh, wants to know how did you narrow down the song choice for the R and R EP? Well, that goes to the original, like the the origin of the EP on some level or another, which is the EP kind of partially started as a hey. We know we have all of these cover songs that we play. We could just record a bunch of them really well, and that would be really fun. And that, and so that was kind of the like uh, the kernel, I guess, of, of of the idea. And then it kind of kind of went outside of that, partially because Taylor and Zach, in particular, were like. We need to do something extra interesting. Well, you know, I, I think it was all too easy. <laughs> <laughs> you came up too there, easy. There were a lot of songs considered. We talked yes. about, uh, I think for me, uh, when we started talking about this EP, talking about naming it the same thing as the tour, um, looking at the song.